Welcome, you're probably interested in our Go Days. Well, let me tell you what a Go Day is. We're the Association of Evangelists. Every now and then we have um, a Go Day, which is a gospel outreach day in various towns and cities um, all over the UK. We, we meet together in a local church uh, where we gather for prayer, and then we, um, we have some, uh, some fellowship together and a little bit of teaching and training. And then we go into the towns and into the cities and we do various things in those towns and cities. So we do things like book tables, uh, we do um, tracts work, uh, we do open air work, and uh, where possible, we'll do some door knocking. Now, why do we do those things? Because obviously Jesus said to us that we need to be people that go and share the good news of the gospel with people. And so that's what good days are about. If you're really interested in that, then get in touch with us at the Association of Evangelists, and we'd love to talk to you about doing one of those events, having one of these events in your local town or city. For those who do come on a go day, you're in for a really good time. Uh, Vinny's my name and I help to present the work of open air work. When we use that word, often people get wrong impressions in the mind. It's interactive open air work. So it's gently, gently, but it's getting to the point of the gospel, Christ dying, rising from the dead. And you can come along, try a bit of open air work. You don't have to be a preacher. We need people who support and you'll have a really, really good time. Well, my name's Roger. I'm involved with these Go Days, which I think are wonderful because we're actually going out to where people are on the streets in a town, covering the whole area with, well, you've heard already, various types of open air evangelism. Sometimes we do door to door work. Um, that's usually connected with one of the churches that's particularly involved and it's guided by maybe the minister or a go to, uh, go, um, go a door to door evangelist. Uh, but then one of the things I love is tract work. To be honest, you could do this anytime, anywhere, any town, any village, uh, just to go onto the street in a place that's not too crowded, but in a place where nevertheless there are people, you don't look too odd, um, and just invite people to have a gospel leaflet, a Christian leaflet. This is one, it's called The Thinker. Now, I never give them out at arm's length because people just walk by. So I sort of, I just go up to them, as it were, stop them in a nice way. I don't jump in front of them. And I just offer them a little Christian leaflet. I might say it's from such and such a church. Could we give you a little Christian leaflet to read? And then I try to gauge how they're responding. And if it looks as though they'd be interested to talk, I'll quickly try and get them to ask, answer a question. You know, do you ever think about Christian things? Do you ever go to church yourself? Do you ever read the Bible? And just try and engage them. So I use tracks as the key to open the door of conversation. Um, I don't call them tracks. I call them Christian leaflets. Sometimes I might explain, you know, this one's the thinker. You've probably seen this sculpture by Rodan. Rodan wasn't a Christian by any means, but he tells us very interestingly what the thinker was thinking about, and in actual fact, he was thinking, says Rodan, about the plight of people in hell. I don't tell them that at that moment. I want them to read this, but I'll try and engage them in conversation. We have booklets as well, and I use those on the street sometimes when people are more interested. But we also, in these go days, we put out a bookstall, very often outside a, a bank. If it's on a Saturday, the bank is closed. Nobody's going to object to that. We don't try and sell books. Um, we, we give them away. If it's not very good weather, we do it under a gazebo. We invite people to, to come and take a book. Very often, our emphasis is on children's books. This one's called The Mind Muddler. It's a great little book for children and really gets them to question uh, what they know about God and uh, what they think about God. But by giving away books to children, we then try and engage the whole family in conversation. Really, go days are just getting out onto the street, meeting people where they are. We can invite people back to local churches if we want, but seek to talk to them about the Lord and as best we can, follow them up later on. Hi, my name's Joe, and I'd like to talk to you about door-to-door -door work today. Um, something that's really important before door-to-door -door work is to make sure you've got the right resources. You need to have tracks, you need to have books. Uh, you might meet a Muslim, you might meet a Jehovah's Witness. And so we really like to sort of prepare ourselves before we go out. Something else that's crucial is to take a notepad. Now, when we do open air work, we don't know who we're gonna meet. We don't know who we're gonna bump into, but door-to-door -door work, if you have a good conversation, you can just go back to them and you can talk to them again. So when you take your notepad out, you don't want to be sort of writing it and um, in front of them on the doorstep because obviously that might scare people a little bit, but just take a few little notes. Uh, for, for instance, Enid had a good conversation with her. She said she wanted a large print Bible and then just write that down. Um, people ask, is it better to go in pairs or on your own? 
I think it's good if you've got a female and a male to go together, that can work well, but two men together, that can be a little bit intimidating. But the key with door-to-door -door work really is, just like open air, is just be very, very gentle. A lot of people sort of get nervous about the idea of knocking on doors, but actually you'll find people are very, very sort of relaxed and calm and normally more comfortable to talk to you than they would be on the street. And then when you come away, what we like to do at these go days is we come back, we debrief, we share names of people we've spoken to and we pray after. I really hope we're gonna see you at one of these go days. It'll be great to meet you and it'll be great to partner with you as we get out this wonderful message that Jesus died on a cross for sinners and rose from the dead. God bless you all and thank you for watching.